my name is Christine and this is my channel Christine Says A Lot where I talk about all things sewing. Welcome! Today I'm going to talk about my January makes. Now I did not have a very big sewing month. I was away for about a week and I had plenty of chores to do around the house so I didn't have as much time as I usually do to sew. The other factor is I made multiples of garments and so it doesn't feel like I've made much but I did sew more items just not as many unique patterns. So let's get into it. The first thing I sewed in January was a jar sweatshirt. I made view A and my 12 version was not a good fit on me. And I was a little bit hesitant about the pattern because I had thought I cut out the right size and it was, it was poorly fitting. It was too big across the shoulders and chest and it was too short on the body length. The twelve did fit my sister Julie perfectly so she was very glad to get my first version. I went on to make two more versions. I have them here. The first version that I made that I was happy with, I sewed in a smaller size. I forget what size, I think it's an 18. And I sewed it in this French terry from So So English. It is a denim blue with white stars and I put on a uh, today is a good day tag into it and one of the things I did different on all of my versions was I hemmed the sleeve instead of putting a cuff on and I did attach a uh, ribbing to the bottom of this version. So this was my first one and I'll insert a photo of me wearing it. I loved it so much and we had a real cold snap here that I sewed another one. And I made this in some heathered French terry from So So English and I put rib ribbing in the neckline and then I used the same fabric for the bottom and again, I just hem the sleeves with a twin needle. And in this one, I used one of my advent calendar labels. It is so cute. Let me give you a close up of it. It's a koala bear and says, I'm probably thinking of sewing, which is what I'm usually thinking of sewing. And I'll insert a photo of me wearing this. I was loving these sweaters so much. I started thinking about doing a third. And as I was thinking about sewing up another one, it started to warm up here in South Alabama. So I think I'm gonna call a time out on the jar of sweater for a while because there are some other cozies I do wanna sew and there's a limited window of time for wearing them. I am so excited that I am almost to the 1,000 subscriber milestone. I do have a big giveaway planned for when I reach that mark. I want to thank everybody who's subscribed. And if you haven't, I'd really like it if you would. It helps me out with the YouTube algorithm every time somebody subscribes, likes, and interacts with the channel. And I like it most of all when we have our little chats in the discussion box below. I love to talk sewing. So this giveaway that I'm planning, I'm going to be giving away a fabric voucher in a drawing. And the voucher will be to a store that ships internationally and it rhymes with Beyond the Think More. <laughs> so stay tuned for that. I think I'm going to be hitting that thousand mark pretty soon. My next sew was a tote bag for my niece Jessica and I did a sew along with this, a little tutorial on how to design a tote bag to fit your needs without a pattern and I'll leave a link below to that tutorial. 
I posted it yesterday and I think she's really going to enjoy it. So my final make of January was a toile and I'm wearing it now. This is the Nico Top by True Bias and this is View B, I believe. And I do like the pattern, but I have a confession to make. I was very prideful. I was prideful and I was sewing late at night and those two things lead to mistakes. So I cut this out in a size 20 and I had it all cut out. It was getting late at night and I knew that in 30 minutes I could have this top finished. So I thought I'm just going to get right onto it. I didn't sew it straight up on the serger because my serger it's really difficult to know exactly where that 3 8 seam allowance was and because this is the 12 version I wanted to make sure I was super exact with my seams so I could judge the fit. Well I was a knucklehead. I am still wondering how I did it. I mean this fabric looks the same on both sides. I ironed on my shoulder stabilizer to the front of the back piece and I put my back and front together. I sewed the shoulder seams and then I decided, um, well, hey, let me go ahead and serge them so I can tell where the serger mark is based off of this 3 8 seam that I know is exact. And I looked at where I had the stabilizer and I just surged then I inserted my neck and I turned it and I realized I had surged the wrong side so you'll notice my serger seams right here and ah uh, I was out and done with myself did I unpick no did I stop no I figured this is a twall this will force me to truly treat it like a twall and make any adjustments that I need to make properly. So I finished sewing it up and went to bed. Uh, I finished everything, but I didn't hem it, though I have plenty of room for the one inch um, hem on the sleeves and for the bottom. So what did I learn from this other than don't have too much pride and don't so late at night was that this was not the right size to cut out for myself. You will notice that the shoulder seam is down here and this is the point where my shoulder ends. So I either needed a narrow shoulder adjustment or I needed a smaller size. Then I looked at the fit and I have got a lot of fabric going on underneath my arms. I also have positive ease throughout the top. I mean, even in the sleeves, I've got positive ease. And I think one of the things that had me hesitate to buy the Nico top when I uh, first started seeing all the lovely makes in the pattern was I saw the pattern cover of the gorgeous model wearing the top and it is just fitting so closely to her body and I couldn't imagine that top on my body and looking that fabulous. But as I have been learning that it does me no justice to oversize in some areas because I'm afraid of showing lumps and bumps because then I just end up with an ill-fitting garment. So I think that I need to make some changes to the pattern so I can get rid of some of this extra fabric. I'm okay with some of this positive ease around my belly, but I can take some out of this garment. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a little research and make sure that what I'm doing is going to actually make a difference. My plan right now is to go down a size through the, um, through the shoulders, through the arm side area, and a little bit down through the bust area that I can definitely go down a size in this area and then grade out to the 20. So that's my initial thoughts. But before I retrace the pattern and cut out new fabric, I'm going to do a little research first because my goal of 2022, my overarching goal is to sew better fitting clothes for myself. So I think that's what I'm going to do. If y'all have any ideas on how I could solve this, am I on the right track with retracing this part of the garment in a smaller size and then grading back out to 20 down here? Or is there something else that I should be doing? If I were being entirely honest, years ago, had I gone into a store and of course had the finished sleeves and finished hem, I very well might have bought this top and been okay with that. I think I would have thought it was an okay top and I would have worn it underneath a jumper, a pinafore, or um, yeah, something along those lines. And I would have thought that it was just fine. But I feel like now I know better. I know that it's not supposed to fit the way that is fitting on me. And since I'm sewing this for myself, I could put in a little bit of work and I can solve this. Because this is not going to be the first time I run into this. So I need to figure these things out. And that's what 2022 is about. Thank you for joining me today. As always, I hope that you have a joyful week and that you find the good in all things especially sewing.